and there you have it, Spike Week. Have you missed this at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nate, which screen were you smoking? A game up CBD. You missed this at all? I, uh, I gotta smoke the weed after the fight. So I had to smoke Game Up CBD. So what was that? CBD by uh, Game Up nu Nutrition. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nate, I'll just note, uh, when are you gonna get a cut of that Aurora sponsorship? You got another one of those? Yeah, yeah, Aurora, Aurora, uh, that was a, that was a good move, huh? <laughs> I, yeah, we're working on it. Hey, what is this house you're staying at during fight week? It looks, it looks pretty unique. Yeah, I get a house on the, uh, on the, over on the water because it's hard to sit in, in and, uh, the hotel room's cooped up, you know, you go to, go to get a coffee or water or something, and you run in five different fighters and a bunch of people, so it's like, I like that too, though, to pop in and pop out. I like to have, have the option. Have you really done that before? Or have you always stayed in the fight around stuff? No, in Vegas I had a house for my last two fights, and uh, in Orlando. Yeah, I usually get a house. I've been in this game too long, too many fights. After a while, you're just like, like um, I, would, I would like to kind of like step out and step in when I'm ready instead of just staying in the whole time. It's kind of, kind of a mess, so. Uh, but even just staying out there, I was ready to get over here to the hotel just to get the get the fight feel more, and then uh, so it's good to be here, be here. Are you gonna put those jujitsu guys out there like right away? Uh, we got we got a little hookup with uh, zebra mats. Is it zebra mats? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could have been that. Now they 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 we we uh, hollered at them. They hooked up the mats in our gym. So then we hollered at them uh, that were in town and, and got some masks. It's hard to get to gyms. It's like places are like 13 miles away and take an hour to get to here. Where I live, 13 miles, you'll be there in 13 minutes. So I think we'll just get some mats here so we don't have to sweat it so much. Nate, what do you think that all these fighters now have CBD sponsorships, the UFC has a CBD sponsorship? You were kind of the first guy to talk about that. What do you make of all this now that's going on? Yeah, it's crazy. It's cool. It's real cool that uh, everybody's up on game now because they uh, stuck they stuck the head in the in the book a little bit after after we had to bring it to the attention, and then uh, stepped the game up. You see that <laughs> game of new pression. Yeah. So uh, as soon as that was done, we're like, we should have our people are like trying to holler at me left and right too. All of a sudden, that shit was popping out everywhere, and I like, no, 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 we'll just make our own, and then I picked the best type of stuff. That I like, I like to mess with, and then I like, let's try to get something like that going, and then it'll be better for not just me and the team, but everybody, not even in sports, you know, it's usually better for, for people. So I thought that was a, I thought that was a um, good accidental move. You have like your own <laughs> line, right? You have like your own yeah, line. Yeah, it's game, game of nutrition. Me and my brother, my brother told me, taught me all about that stuff too beforehand. He, He's like, you gotta do this. You get get uh, everything everything going for you, right? Because uh, you, you can't you can't really smoke before fights and month out. You kind of take take it off, and then uh, it's good to have have a piece of it in you still, because that's a piece of the uh, seed that was started this whole whole journey anyway. I noticed you you passed it to the crowd. Like if that's just proper etiquette, right? Yeah, if they if uh, if they're they're uh, if they want to, that was my friend. He wanted to hit it too. So I was like, All right. but but I said pass it around. Yeah, it was good etiquette for sure. Nate, on the note of your brother, at this stage of your career, what is his impact and involvement in your career and in your life outside? Uh, my brother is responsible for anything I've even done at all. You know, he he like he's the one that is like it. it it's crazy what he's done and how he how he did everything because he just he just knew what he was gonna do since he was. A kid. I mean, when he started fighting martial arts and he was like, "I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go here because this guy's here training people," and then he just was like, "I'm gonna take a fight." And he's 15, 16 year old kid. And I'm like, "Who thinks like that when they're a 16 year old kid?" And I was just a kid sitting at the house watching him do it and then doing my own thing. And then I was like, all right, well, since I don't got much going on for me, I'll just do it, follow, follow the role. So he, he, the whole impact is from him. 
and uh, he's, he should be here today or tomorrow. So hopefully we, he gets over here for you guys and we all see him. And uh, if not, he's, he's, uh, he's 100% the main reason why I'm here. Are you going to be in your corner today? Uh, I don't know if he's going to be in my corner, but uh, if we could get him in, I'm going to get him in. Earlier, uh, Anthony Pettis said he was ready to squash this beef as long as you were and you have a good fight. There's no beef uh, at all anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with, I'm just here, uh, I'm here as a businessman and a uh, natural born killer and I'm uh, I'm here to get, get the job done and he's the guy to do it on, so it's no problem, not, it's all good with me. Uh, I'm just I'm just here, here to fucking kill him. Stay alive for the weekend. He seems to think you're jealous of him. Does that make sense to Why you? Why am I jealous of him? Because you got the covers of the Wheaties. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, that was blown out of proportion a little bit. But, but uh, at the time, I was not jealous of him. But I was mad that they were hand Just like Connor, Connor is like, you guys are going to just hand these guys. I did more work than all these guys. And then uh, they're pushing them as the guys. And if you're a fighter and uh, and uh, they're pushing this guy as a guy, I'm... I'm gonna definitely step and say, "Now fuck that, I'm the guy." So that's all that was, and that, and he he should probably have, understand that because that's what everybody in this fight game should be doing. But ain't no one's doing it. They're like, "I want to fight. Who's next? I want to do whatever I'm told." I'm like, "I'm on. I'm a, from from day one. It's gonna stay the same too until I'm 100 years old. I'm the dawn of all this shit. Anybody gonna step in this room and say they they they're the ass whipper? I beg to differ." What, what, what would need to happen for you to feel like you are? So that's here? why I said, fuck the box, man. I'm going to fight him because why the hell is he on it? I've been here. So that, that was my only thing with him. It wasn't personal. Do you, do you feel like you're getting that respect a little more now? Or do you think that that's ever going to come where you feel? No, I think uh, because I took it, though. Right. You know? It's like, and no, ain't no, one, no one on the whole roster for the last three years, did no one even read the blue, blueprints. I'm like, it's right there. Why don't you go take it? And nobody did. And, um... Tomorrow, if somebody jumps up and says, hey, man, I'm, ta I'm taking that position. Fuck that. Nate, just out of curiosity, are you back for good? And if so, do you see a third fight with Conor McGregor? I can't tell you, man. I'm going to fight this weekend. Time will tell on all that stuff. And uh, we'll see what happens. Nate, because of that, how much have you just enjoyed or taken you know, more joy out of this fight game? He's training for a fight. <laughs> How do you see the fight with Anthony going? Obviously, he's a great kicker. Some people have said that you can sometimes hit him with a leg kick. How do you actually see the fight playing out? Uh, we're going to have to get out there Saturday and see what happens. But um, I, I, I'm aware of what he's going to try to do. But uh, could be completely opposite way. Who knows, you know? Uh, I know. I, I can imagine what I what I would do to when I'm fighting me. So uh, I thought from that point of view and then um, I don't know man I just try to prepare the best I can for every type of situation three rounds better for you or for him <sighs> don't matter three three or five I, I, I always want a five round fight I take a ten round fight against anybody Dane one of your complaints uh, or, or criticisms or observations is that the UFC hasn't always promoted you correctly and now you're back do you, do you feel differently do you feel like like the promotion promoted you well ahead of this fight um, I, but I don't think they had they had any any choice. <laughs> How does it feel to know that you know when it comes to Google Trends, like you're gonna? As far as promoting at all, because Guys, what are they gonna do? Sorry about that. Um, how does it feel to know in some instances like you're trending twice as much as Daniel Cormier? A lot of people who aren't paying attention are part of that. Yeah, that's probably they 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 they've been they've been trying to degrade me the whole time I've been out. You know, they're like trying to put me on on low on the card against not very big names, and that was like they also tried to give me huge names, but then it was just like those, those fell through, and then um, it don't matter. It don't matter. I believe I'm the main event in any event that they got, and uh, that that that. They'll do the best they can to keep me from that, but <laughs> this is for the heavyweight title. <laughs> Anthony had said that uh, he doesn't think he's ever been caught in a submission attempt in the octagon. Mm -hmm. He hopes that you're someone who can actually challenge him on the ground. 
how do you see your ground game comparing to his? I'm a, I train with the best jiu-jitsu guys in the world. So uh, I train with Corn Gracie and uh, Randy Spence and my boy, my team. I got my big boy here I've been training with, um, Nick Maximoff, and he, he he's a, a middleweight, brown belt, D1 wrestler. He's up and coming, he's 3-0 three, three and right now. And uh, you guys will see him here real, real quick. And um, he couldn't take me out the whole camp, so he's 200 pounds. <laughs> Any, any mention for, uh, last one, fellas, all right? This is the last question. we got to go. The arena wants us out. Cheers. I didn't hear you. Is it, the, is it the support you get from Stockton, Sacramento area? Any message to those people? Yeah, shout out to NorCal. All love for, from them, for them all the time. And uh, that's where that's where, that's where where it all started. That's where it's all going to finish. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers. I thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate everybody. Thanks very much, fellas.